and we are finally back at a game with episode two of the guard of high school which lets us all admit episode one was an absolute freaking banger fights on point comedy on point animation on point characters on point and we can't forget how we left off with that intense cliffhanger with morty flying through the air confronting another impressive fighter so definitely excited to see how things will start off so without further ado let us get into things if you guys want to watch the full anime make sure to check out the link above or else we stand the video in three two one go i'm so excited to see how we'll leave off Ooh, surprisingly a lot more calm or oh, maybe not maybe not Ooh. oh yeah that's the um island does king Kong exist and no one told me Chakuriki. The plot is thick and I love it. Is he going to be Miss, Mr. Park? What a way to start off once again. Okay, so I am definitely enjoying how this is not only just like fighting, like tournament fighting. Based off episode one, we also got quite a thick layer of kind of plot, especially with both episodes starting off in quite like a very climatic way very uh mysterious i did honestly not expect like a mystery kind of element to this anime but overall i so far like my kind of theory is that mr mr park here is a fight fighter himself I'm not too sure, but he definitely has the same symbol that was put on the island. And I also mentioned how his that it looks like a handprint. And considering he has the same kind of marking on... Oh, this opening is so epic. Anyways, but yeah, we see a lot of this marking kind of going on like a kind of cross. And he just has that kind of same marking on his hand as well. And just the way it just kind of... it Like I explained about the island, it looks like finger marks, the handprint. So I'm thinking that Mr park here maybe has created the island so whoever wins from this tournament is going to maybe end up on that island definitely know that all these events are obviously all tied in together not quite sure how yet but overall excited to explore along with the amount of epic characters i believe that have planned for us and the fighting i just oh, i just so excited for everything fighting you know plot renewal soul Ooh characters thick babes oh leveling system as well they haven't really gone in much into that but wait the fight's over or the fight's begun the fighters little fist bump what is he doing <laughs> staring 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 I absolutely oh You're not secretly a gorilla, are you? Ooh, things not to quite ask a girl. <laughs> I love how they were just already best friends. They all just happen to live the same direction.
banana machine. Damn, they can even fix like a spinal thing. Oh, maybe he has someone in his family that's really sick. Of course, that's your reasoning. Because I know he definitely wants to fight, uh, refight the recruiter. Oh, he does definitely. He does have someone. What is Beta fighting for? Moonlight. Bye-bye. Oh, she's... Oh, she'd be real mad. Oh, you fucked up real good, Maury. That was such... Like, a... oh, that mood, just that instant mood shift was quite intense. Oh, she can't. Oh, look at all the... I'm sure they'll find it, but I'm a... <laughs> Beautiful friendship. Oh damn, he's just like, you bought a torch, I bought a... Damn! Why was that so- I, I'm already feeling the feels. This anime just honestly has a lot of elements of everything. Like I don't expect like feels of episode one and episode two, but I guess like looking at the ending, I do feel like there is quite a lot packed for us. Wait, are we not okay the fight? Will be ground to protect in the national god of high school tournament filled with the strongest fighter across the country. It's that <laughs> Tai Chi. Damn. So these are pretty much all the participants that were able to pass kind of the first round and now we're kind of going straight into the kind of... How did your fight end? Did it just end with... <laughs> Zero shits given. Oh. 
Ooh. Ooh. Oh, so those were like sleeping shades. <laughs> I always wonder what they were. I thought they were like. I also love all the really like kind of hip ass beats going on. He has different types of underwear. That's cute. Nah, she's gonna fuck you up, boy. Ooh, she literally just gave you a booty slap. Well, this is quick. I guess we got to kind of the beast. Oh, you were clearly not beast enough. Oh, go Mori. I love how quickly we're just going through all the side characters. <laughs> oh, sweetie. She be thick. This guy scares me. Like he hasn't looked away from his book. Um, Al. Yes, man. Oh, no, man. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Sensei? Nani? Maybe they respect each other both as like a martial artist. Who's gonna win this one? I feel like this is going to be so intense. I love how Mori always has a banana. Oh, you know the guy that always has his eyes closed, opens his eyes, it means shit's about to go. Go! Rabbit step dragon strike. Oh, he's going to fall out. 10,000. This guy cannot. But I feel like he's just going to be like, I am Daijobu. See, he's just chilling on the get me up. <laughs> Look at the amount of chill he has. Oh, <gasps> oh, yeah, and let's not forget he still has his arm restraints on. That was crisp. So he is finally getting serious. Ooh, ooh. This is just for one arm as well, guys. <gasps> oh. 
That's brutal. Northern star taconda. That's oh. Stop it. Control your emotions. I would just feel pain and pain. No, I, th I think I think he's got it. He's back. I'll put this back. Yin Yang balance strike. Wait, why did he get? Oh, I think he like made that flow go. He like absorbed it through the hand and out through the face. I really don't like her. Oh, interesting situation there. It looks like one of the scouters absolutely fucks him up. I'm curious about that situation. It was so unlike his character now. Why do I feel like Morty's got to step in? Or maybe not. I don't think- it, it won't be allowed, so I don't think he will. Just say yes, just say yes. Oh. I knew my boy Morty would come in. <laughs> the boss sees it. The boss sees. <laughs> They're just like, Nanny, <laughs> where did he go? Is this allowed? You know what? Let's do it. Fuck him up! So both of them have the same... No, both of them know Taekwondo. That's like the way of fighting. But I think... Morty absolutely despises the style of Taekwondo. Does he get disqualified? Surely not. Stop it. Oh, he's unleashed. He's unhinged. I'm not like I was back then. Oh, he had heavy pants on. What did they do to you to make a character like him be begging on the ground, crying and whimpering? It's, it's like, what the fuck happened?
What is that? <laughs> I love when Morty's just like, nah, this is my fight. Damn, I feel like if Taekwondo was really like this, it would be the most popular sport. But anyways. <laughs> Impressive. Oh, who? <gasps> His hair. And this is where they're gonna leave us once again. Head of Tonya. Mm. Punishment once it's decided. <laughs> the, oh, sorry, the, the crowd's reaction got me there. <laughs> I don't think they'll get rid of him because he has quite the fan base already. <laughs> Another cliffhanger once again. Oof. The beats, I honestly am loving so much of the music that's going on throughout the series, mainly because I think it's like very hip. Like I think I've previously kind of mentioned it as well, but there are a lot of elements that are just like um very within like, you know, like our generation. We had that kind of like Twitch streamer or like YouTuber that was going around like rapping around town. It's like vlogging his daily life. And yeah, just the music, all of them. I think it's just like really on point kind of hip hop beats, really edgy kind of beats. And just like overall, a very like relatable vibes. Well, <laughs> even though there's people flying around and you know beating each other up still there's just like that hint of like relatableness within like the environment setting we're in there's just like the music just like some sort of aspects of our characters and like kind of feelings like that I feel like a very kind of recent like relatable you know within our gen kind of styles of things okay can confirm that every week I feel like they're gonna leave us on a very like intense cliffhanger that's just gonna make me like insane waiting a whole week for like kind of answers but definitely I'm very interested about this Park Mujin character that's just always kind of you know being there appearing here now and then and especially this kind of last moment the biggest thing i noticed was when he like he entered with his hands like this which is the way you know he kind of pushed um mori down on the ground like something there was definitely a force that controlled mori to get down on on the ground like that and i'm overall curious to see if that's maybe the nano chip related or if this is kind of like a thing park mujin kind of has going on around him considering like he did the kind of same hand gesture for the island happening as well so i don't know if that is correlated or if this is just kind of like they have each participant have that nano chip which can heal but can also make sure that they can and kind of keep them under control so definitely will be interested to see if that will be explained i feel like a little bit of things hasn't been explained yet but obviously it's only episode two so i do hope eventually it'll get explained i don't know if it's not important or not but like i kind of thought this episode would maybe go a little bit more into like leveling systems or kind of this kind of political setup there is going on but obviously that can definitely be explained kind of like throughout the series especially the political side i do feel like that is going to be quite the intense kind of overriding plot we do explore but yeah so far elements such as like nano chip um levels i am definitely curious to hear a little bit more about that now because i do feel like that is relevant to the tournaments that is going on kind of currently throughout these episodes i definitely have to say how impressed i am by the different element of things that are going on within just like even one episode i like the fact how we jumped into kind of mina's background story and then we also went a bit into the slippers jerks kind of background story i do feel like that is going to overall tie in with something considering he has learned kind of i felt like a darker element of taekwondo the northern style as they mentioned of taekwondo 
taekwondo which is quite brutal you could tell with the like slapping the eye stabbing they mentioned like those are all the kind of styles that they use so it's not very like kind of traditional taekwondo we also got teased with that kind of figure with the backpack so i feel like that might tie in with some sort of elements of the taekwondo teaching because i feel like as the backpack wearing process they're like do you want power and that's i feel how the slip and stroke kind of got his style of fighting and this also i feel like ties in maybe possibly when he said that um morty has the kind of same style of fighting but not quite i feel like that might overall tie in with kind of morty's maybe background story kind of a lot of hints thrown in throughout even like kind of one episode so it definitely kind of keeps us on our toes it's not always just the fighting as we saw even throughout the fighting we learned more about kind of the mentality and emotions that go into kind of like tai chi fighting so that was quite impressive i do like kind of how we jump in into like kind of different scenes here and there throughout the storytelling so it's not always just about the fighting and i think that keeps it ever more kind of exciting as we kind of go back and forth from things so yeah and that and i definitely curious to see what kind of punishment mori will get hopefully he obviously won't get disqualified from the series but overall i am interested to see what kind of consequences will arise so i guess until then make sure you guys stay awesome and i'll definitely catch you guys for episode three